If you guys are in need of coins, buy them for the 100% cheapest price possible with EasyMutt.com for the fastest delivery. Use code DOM for 5% off of each order at checkout and get to building that team that you've always wanted. Gentlemen, I am very excited to be telling you this right now, but there is a set in the game that can get you a lot of free cards. I'm going to go over what you can get in the set in this video. I'm going to go over how to do it, all that stuff, and I'll be helping you guys a lot. So hopefully you guys enjoy this. Hit that like button if you do. I'd greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe as well. It's completely free. You know, you don't always have to be subscribed if you don't enjoy the content, but uh, you know, subscribe. I would, I would appreciate it so much. I'll have a gift card in throughout this video as well, so be on the lookout for it. And uh, tell me down below your predictions of what we're about to get into uh, once you actually see what we're getting into, if that makes any sense whatsoever. Regardless, let's get into it. Hopefully, hopefully this all works out well, and hopefully I can help a lot of you guys. First things first though, I have to open up this 91 plus overall Ultimate Legends Fantasy uh, pack with the three at 91 plus Ultimate Legends. Do it every Saturday, gotta do it again today. Hopefully we get something good in here. You know, I'm a little worried that we won't because we've been on a bit of a dud streak the past couple weeks, but we have gotten some decent cards from here a couple times. We did pull Randy Moss in this pack once, so I have faith, just not a ton of it. Just not a significant amount. I would love to pull something good though, so we'll see, baby. We'll see. I mean, I, there is 399s in packs today, so I'm praying that something good can come of this. Or 399 Ultimate Legends. There's 599s in packs. First one is Randy, oddly enough. Charles Haley, 96. And then 97 Carl Banks. Okay, that's a fire pull. See, that's a dub. See, we were on a bit of a dud streak for the past couple weeks. We get a 97 Carl Banks right here. I don't know how much he's selling for. Hopefully a decent amount. I would pray. Uh, it is a strong safety Carl Banks, so 100K. That ain't bad. I mean, $15, eh, a decent amount, but we do get a good pull, thankfully, and you do have a chance of pulling some pretty good cards in there. So I'm not going to complain too much, but let's get into the most important part of this video, which is, of course, we go into the sets right here, and if you go on over to the NFL Draft. Now, I talked about this a little bit yesterday, but we do have the Mock Draft, which you use Mock Draft vouchers for each of these picks right? And you have a chance of obviously getting some good cards here. So first overall pick, right? We have, is it a QB, halfback or tight end, a wide receiver, a DB, an O-lineman, edge rusher, non-edge D-lineman, or a non-edge linebacker. So a lot of in-depth choices here, but obviously with the first overall pick, it is the Jags. And, you know, a huge consensus is it might be Aiden Hutchinson or Kayvon Thibodeau. There's always a chance they go with an O-lineman, but you know, a big consensus is that they're gonna go with an edge rusher. So for the first overall pick, I think it's safe to say that we, if we pick edge rusher, it's going to be correct. Now, like I said, anything could happen, anything at all. Now, the Lions are a much different you know, beast entirely. They could get a QB for the future. They do have Jared Goff, of course. Um, I wouldn't think they'd pick Kenneth Walker or a tight end here, of course. Wide receiver seems out of the realm of possibility. Just due to the fact that picking a wide receiver at number two overall, I don't think it's a very good decision considering it isn't like a generational wide receiver like Calvin Johnson or like AJ Green or something. You know, someone like that who was clearly head and shoulders incredible coming out of college. There is a great you know, amount of good wide receivers in this draft, but no one like that where I think they would be taken number two overall. Now, Sauce Gardner at the DB position is a choice that could happen or Evan Neal at O-lineman. So I'm thinking for this one, DB or offensive lineman might be the pick here. Um, again, it could be, they could end up picking Malik Willis or Kenny Pickett or one of those guys. You never know, uh, but you guys get the point there. Um, essentially, to get these draft vouchers, you go into your solos. To get the draft vouchers, you go into your solos and it's, I mean, it's easy to see. It's in the mock draft section. I haven't done these yet, um, but I am going to do them. Of course, I want to. I want to take part in this. I want to try and get, you know, all the picks correct. But it gives you a choice of, you know, doing solos for each of the first 20 picks. 
And if you get all of the first 20 picks correct, you obviously get the most juice reward in Madden history, in my opinion. I mean, it's not even really close. Like, the odds of getting them, all 20 of them correct, are extremely low, of course. But, if you do get all of them correct, go to Mock Draft Rewards Exchange, you get all 20 correct, you not only get every single first rounder from this year's draft, so you get 99, you get some 98, some 97s, you get every card from the first round of the 2022 22 NFL Draft. You also get all NFL Draft Pass champions. As of right now, we have six. I don't know if they're including the limiteds in there. If they are, that's eight more 99s. And then, of course, you get um, all the heroes, so all the 97s, and then you get a future mystery gift, which is going to be the golden ticket. I am 99.9% .9 positive on that. They wouldn't call it anything else if it was something you know, lesser. If it wasn't something this good, they would say exactly what it is. Future mystery gift, I'm assuming 100% is going to be a golden ticket. I could be wrong, but you know, it. why would they call it a future mystery gift if it was going to be something really bad, right? So, right here, if you get all 20 of your draft vouchers correct, which of course, yeah, I mean, you have to hit 100% and be extremely lucky. There's probably a 0.00001% chance of getting it right. Maybe better than that. But if you get all of them correct, you get 32 first round draft players, you get all the champions and heroes, and of course you get the golden ticket. At 19, you get all the first round drafts, and then you get all the champions and heroes. So if you get 19 correct, you don't get the golden ticket, but you get the other two. Um, 18 correct, you get all NCAT NFL draft pass champions and heroes, which is also extremely nice. It is extremely nice all the way down to probably pick 15. Pick 15 is where it drops off. 93 is also nice as well, but 89 is terrible. So 13 and up correct is probably pretty good. Uh, obviously, you have to get extremely lucky to guess all that correct, but I mean, obviously it's a 93 plus draft player. There's a 95 plus draft player for 15 correct, and then of course, 16, you get choice of one of the 32 first round draft players, which I don't see why you wouldn't pick a 99, uh, even if it is Aiden Hutchinson or uh, Kayvon Thibodeau, if it's not like, you know, a glamorous name or anything like that, it's still a great card, a 99 overall first round pick. So I would personally go with that, but I wouldn't blame anybody if they go with Malik Willis or something, because obviously he's going to be a lot of fun. He's going to be a great card. So uh, there is a lot of great guys to choose from in this draft. Um, there's some six foot five receivers. It, there's, there's a lot of great players to choose from, but most importantly, like I said, the best reward gets you 32 first rounders, every single first round player, you get all the champions and you get the golden ticket, which obviously is just me assuming that, but I think it's safe to assume that this is a golden ticket. A lot of other people think it's going to be a golden ticket as well. So I may as well hop on the hype train. If, uh, you know, I'm sure most people won't even get like 15 of them correct. So uh, if EA proves me wrong and it's not a golden ticket, you know, all the power to them. I hate EA. <laughs> I hate you so much, EA, but you guys get the point. I mean, I think it's safe to assume it's probably going to be a golden ticket. Uh, hopefully, we get all of them correct. I, If you guys want me to do, like, a mock draft uh, of all 20, I will do that within the next couple of days. And I also have another pretty cool video coming out within the next couple of days as well that I hope you guys are excited for. And ball, balls are golden tickets. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. Peace. It means no worries. Day.